Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am excited to share the fascinating story of the Padmanabhasami Temple, the richest temple in the world. I will also be covering its history, unique architecture and a legacy that inspires people everywhere. And at the end, I will share all the details on how to reach this incredible temple with helpful transport options. So friends, stay tuned till the end. The Padmanabhasami Temple, located in Kerala's capital Tiruvannathapuram, is one of India's most revered and ancient Vishnu temple. This sacred site carries a legacy of 5,000 years that connects it to ancient times. References to this temple appear in revered Hindu scriptures, including the Vishnu Purana, the Brahma Purana, and even the Mahabharata, underscoring its significance in Hindu tradition and history. The temple as we see it today was renovated in the 18th century by Maharaja Mathanda Varma, elevating its architectural and spiritual prominence. But the story of this sacred place begins long before that, with a saint named Vilnavangalam Swamiyar. It said that Swamiyar, who meditated daily in hopes of seeing Lord Vishnu, was often interrupted by a young boy. One day, he became frustrated and grabbed the boy, who then revealed himself as Lord Vishnu. The boy invited Samir to the Anantakaru forest to see his true form. On his way to the forest, Samir met a mother with a crying baby. She urged him to keep going, assuring him he would find what he was looking for. When Samir reached a mower tree, it suddenly fell before him, revealing Lord Vishnu lying on Anantanag. Lord Vishnu's form was so enormous that it stretched from Thiruvallam to Thiruvananthapuram. After that, Swamiyar prayed for Lord Vishnu to appear in a smaller form, so he could worship him. When the king heard of this device vision, he immediately ordered the construction of a temple on this very site. Today, that temple is none other than the Padmasami temple, India's wealthiest and one of its most revered shrines. The temple is located very close to the Arabian Sea, and because of this, a unique ritual bath is performed for Lord Padmanabhasami twice a year. This takes place during the Pankuni Aratthu festival in March-April and the Alpasi Aratthu festival in October-November. The main idol here is truly unique. The shrine is designed in such a way that you can see Lord Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva all together. Lord Vishnu's right hand even touches a Shiva Lingam, and from his navel, a lotus blooms where Lord Brahma is seated. Now let's talk about the wealth of the temple. There are six falls in the Padmanabhasami temple, and under the supervision of the Supreme Court, these vaults were opened. To everyone's surprise, they contain an astonishing wealth worth over 1 lakh crore, making the temple the richest in the world. Maharaja Mathanda Bharma had dedicated his entire empire to Lord Padmanabhasami, and since then, the temple's management rights have been held by the royal family. However, in 2011, the Kerala High Court ruled that the royal family should no longer have these rights, but the Supreme Court stated this order. To estimate the wealth, the Supreme Court appointed a monitoring committee to open the balls. But priest and royal family oppose Vault B. They believe that the vault marked with a snake image could bring divine death if opened. In 2020, the Supreme Court finally restored the management rights to the royal family, keeping the temple's administration in their hands. Now let's explore the transport options to get the temple. If you are coming by flight, the nearest airport is Trivandrum International Airport, which is about 4 kilometers away. If you are travelling by train, the Thiruvanthapuram Central Station is just 2 km from the temple. For buses, you will find plenty of routes connecting to Trivandrum. If you are taking an auto or renting a car, there are plenty of options available right outside the railway station. So no matter how we are travelling, reaching the temple is very easy. That's it for today. For more temple stories, Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.